Hey everyone, it's Amanda with Iron Will Dog Training. This is Dash. She's a teddy bear Bernadoodle from Rocky Mountain Bernadoodles. She just got done with the Canine Junior High program, which is for two months. So this is just a video we put together for you to show you what she can do. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over um, what we do at Dash for the crate. Um, so all you need to tell her is it's kennel. Just say Dash Kennel and she will do it. Um, kennel means kennel, so just you know, and the door means nothing. So if the door's open, um, you know, I mean, if you're allowing her to go in and out, great. You know, and if you want, you can just tell her to stay. You can hold your hand out, tell her to stay if you need to. Um, but yeah, dash, come on, come on. Good, good. Um, so just like that, um, and she's very, very comfortable in there. Um, you know, she's been in there since she was eight weeks. So she, that's like her, this is her bedroom den area. It's very important that you keep up with this, you know, for the rest of her life. You know, a dog needs to have their own bedroom um, like this den area because, you know, it's just really important, especially when they're puppies, like that way you can put them away so they're not destroying anything, you know, while at night while you're sleeping or if you have to leave and you cannot take her with you. Um, so make sure that this is always a good positive thing and don't ever use this crate as a punishment. That's not a good thing. Um, so yeah, and then um, this crate, so this is hers and she'll be taking this home. Um, so the, there's still a divider in here. I haven't given her the whole crate just yet. Um, because she's just not ready for that. So she's definitely been, she's been here for two, two and a half months. Um, she's definitely been a struggle with the potty training. Um, so you guys will need to be, get her on a strict schedule and continue uh, working on that at home um, when you get her. So that I would just keep this divider in here for a little bit longer. And then as she gets much bigger, then you can give her the, the whole thing. And as long as she's doing good, uh, with it. So, and then as far as like a schedule, like, I mean, usually we let her out at like the last time for the night is like 10, 10 30. And then she needs to be let back out by like six o'clock. Um, it's hard for her to really go past that. Sometimes, sometimes she can hold it till seven, um, but it really just depends. But controlled food and water will control the bad potty habits. So make sure you cut her water off by six or seven o'clock at night. Um, don't give her any more after that. And I'm just saying just until, you know, just at this stage and then once she's much older, you know, once she's two years old and above, then, you know, she should be able to do whatever um, and you don't have to worry about it. So, and then I usually just take a blanket um, and cover it up, um, you know, and really you don't have to do this all the time. I mean, she's fine. She doesn't absolutely need it. You know, she's getting older, um, but it is a good idea to do and it makes it more, you know, like den-like and, you know, it keeps, it keeps her quiet and then so that she, she can't really see what's going on. Um, and especially at night, and then they know it's bedtime, you know? Um, so that's a good idea to do. Um, also, um, I would make sure to put, um, you know, toys in here for her, not necessarily at night, because that might get kind of annoying. Um, but during the day when you're gone, if you can't take her with you, make sure you put like a rawhide or just, or a Kong toy, Nyla bone. <clears throat> Those are all really good, but she needs to have something that she can still chew on so she's not taking it out on the blanket um, or the crate itself, like the tray. So because she's going to be in a major chewing stage she'll, till she's about two. Um, so also keep that in mind. Um, and then first thing in the morning, you need to be letting her out. Um, so don't be like getting her excited um, or playing with her. She needs to go out first thing. Um, and in the very beginning, you need to be taking her out like every 30 minutes to an hour when she's awake. And then, you know, after eating, sleeping and playing, she's got to go straight outside. Um, so just keep up with that. Just stay strict with it for a while. It's going to, you know, that's a lot of times taking her out um, in the beginning. But it's really important for you to do that and just try to go to the same spot every single time. Um, that's ideal so that she knows that's her area and then the inside is her clean area. 
Um, so yeah, we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, so I just wanted to talk about <clears throat> um, basically in terms of her, of Dash's personality. So she has a very um, happy-go-lucky, just energetic personality. I mean, she is happy all the time. I mean, her tail never stops wagging. Um, just good with pretty much whatever. Um, just, yeah, and just very high strung. So exercise should always come first for her, for sure, um, before you do anything with her. So first thing, every single day, she needs to be exercised properly. So go on a really long walk or jog, run, whatever with her. You could even train her on a treadmill, you know, let her go out in the yard and run around with her, try to, you know, throw the toys for her, you know, get her just staying active. Um, when she's too high strung, it's really hard for her to focus, um, especially, you know, at this age, which is, you know, understandable, but, you know, she's one that really just, she needs the exercise, like, more than anything, so, um, focus on that, and then when, um, you know, when she is, like, being hyper and you're wanting to pet her or someone else is wanting to pet her, you know, you need to make sure and practice that hands off until she is completely calm. That is very, very important because if you're petting a dog when they're, you know, just super happy and they're just not settling down or if they're jumping on you, if they're barking at you and you're petting them while they're doing that behavior, then that's to a dog, that's telling them that, okay, that's okay to do. Like you're praising them that, you know, that's okay to do so, then they're just gonna keep doing it and it's gonna get worse and worse and worse. So just make sure that you just stay calm and assertive with her. Everyone else stays calm and assertive with her. Um, and it's just very, very important. So she's been exercised, you see how she is right now. Um, and, you know, so she's a little tired. She's kind of falling asleep right now as I'm talking. So, but this is what you want. So make sure that throughout the entire day that you are really getting her um, mentally and physically drained. So a tired dog is a happy dog and that is what you want. Exercise is the best thing and that's what creates a happy, healthy dog. Um, so really focus on that with her. So I just wanted to touch on that. Okay, so I'm going to run through um, a few of the commands that um, Dash knows. Um, so she knows sit, down, place, heel, you know, kennel. Um, yeah, so I'm going to run through all that. Dash, please. Good, good. And she really just has an auto sit. Um, and down. Good, good, good girl. Good. So, and I do a lot with my hands, so when I tell him to sit, I pull my hand up, down, is this way. If you want him to place, so either on a cot, a bed, a mat, whatever, just point to the area um, that they need to place on, and that's where they need to go, you know, kennel, just go into the kennel, um, and all that, stay, you know, you just hold your hand out and say, stay, Shh. stay. And make sure that you're getting eye contact from her. Make sure that she is paying attention to you. Um, if you're not, if they're, if your puppy's not paying attention to you and you're not getting that eye contact, they're not, you know, you're not going to get anywhere with it. So um, that's very, very important. Yes. Good. Good. Good girl. Good. Good. Yep. Good. Good. Good, good. And heel is when you start walking and she needs to be right at your heel. Dash, place. Good, good. Down, down, good. Um, and you don't have to give her a treat every single time. I'm starting to fade those out. I, you know, give treats when they're super little and then I just slowly fade them out. Um, she's good with whatever and she's not really one that you want to give too many pets to because she's so high strung so you know just telling her good good girl or yes you know good girl dash you know like that that's good enough you don't want to get her too hyped up she's already super happy so which is great she's very eager to please she's very attentive so you've already got that going for you 
Um, so that's all you need to do. And, you know, just keep working with the hand signals. Um, so just continue on, you know, repetition is everything to stay consistent with it and she'll get better and better. Yeah, come. Good, good, good. So one thing I want to mention, just like I did there, when you practice the come command with her, so I like to say their name first and then say come, but you need to wait until your puppy does the auto sit before you praise or pet or anything. And then that gets them in that habit of every time they come to somebody, you know, they just uh, automatically sit and they're not just, you know, going crazy or, you know, going in circles around you. So definitely make sure you do that with her every time. So hands off until she is in a calm sitting position, just like this. It's perfect. Okay. So I'm just going to demonstrate what we've been um, working on with Dash. So we have the blow dryer, we do the leaf blower, um, the vacuum. So all of that stuff is very important to keep practicing with her so that she's never um, scared of it or anything like that. It gets her ready for the groomer. She is going to have to go to the groomer um, pretty often. Um, I'd say every two to three months, but it just depends on how you like her coat to be. Um, and then brushing her is also a big thing. So we're always, you know, doing that, um, you know, messing with her feet, um, you know, and just all of that so that it gets her ready for um, the vet, the groomer and everything. So, and she does really well. So um, she doesn't really care, but you go. And then opening their mouth messing with them like that, their ears, and all that good stuff. Yeah, so just like that. Um, so just uh, keep practicing this at home. Um, really get her, like put her in front of all of those like loud noises and, you know, stuff that she really doesn't like. Um, don't ever let her, um, you know, stop with it or get scared about it. Just keep her mind moving forward. Um, but she's off to a really good start with that. Um, so yeah. Okay, so this is uh, what we do with Dash every day, twice a day with the feeding ritual. Um, so we look for nose, eyes, ears. So she needs to be looking in our eyes, nose up for smell, ears listening to me um, so that she doesn't just go after it. She needs to know that I own the food and she needs to ask me permission to have it. This is very important to practice um, every single day, every time you feed her. Um, so that she understands that and then that also will prevent food aggression um, in the future. So I'm going to demonstrate that. Shh. Good. Wait. to just, um, you know, pet her and put your hand in the bowl and just like really keep up with that throughout her entire life um, and make sure that she's always good with it. So, and it's good to get kids around her to pet her, um, but she does very, very well. So, yeah. I want to uh, mention with Dash is that she is a very hyper dog, very, very high strung. So it's hard for her to, you know, stay calm and to calm down um, unless she's sleeping. So um, you really, it's important too with the food to wait until she's calm. You don't really want to do it when she's just crazy. So make sure that she is always in a calm, well, <laughs> calm, somewhat happy sitting position. 
um, and, you know, or down position before, you know, you allow her to have it. And the release command is always okay, you know, before she, when she heard that. So, um, so, and if you need to correct her, that's how we do it. It's just, shh, you know, and you can snap your fingers or you can say no firmly and that's all it takes. So she knows what that means. Um, so, but be, you know, it's important to be patient with her and to make sure that she, you know, just stays calm. She is just very, very high energy. So just watch that. So, shh. Okay, good. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys um, how we do our leash training and stuff for you to follow up on um, throughout our life. Uh, so we use a slip lead. The, this just slips right over their neck, right at the base of the head. Um, this little keeper right here just slides down. And um, so what we do, just put it over the base of the neck, the base, or over the head at the base of the neck and slide that down. And you want it to where there's Plenty of play where it's loose, but it just can't slip over the head, okay? And then when you start your walk, uh, first of all, you want, when you put your leash on, you want to make sure your dog is um, calm, and in a sitting position, relaxed, and don't ever start your dog on a habit of saying, you ready to go for a walk or anything like that. Um, just surprise them, just put the leash on them and go. Otherwise you start getting an excited dog and don't get them all hyped up. You want them calm, you want them, you know, to be just normal when you go for your walk. Or a lot of people get habits of just getting a crazy dog when they're going for a walk. Um, when you start your walk, you always walk first, okay? So you start and you, you just give them a little tug and release and make sure your leash is loose. Okay, loose, loose leash is reward. And when you stop, she should stop and sit, auto sit, okay? If they don't, it's straight up and then release. You pull tension just enough to make them sit. Sometimes it's a little more depending on the energy outside if there's people or whatever. Um, and then also remember that dogs are creatures of habit. Um, it's very important to remember. So if you start developing habits with your dog, then it just becomes a habit throughout its life and it's hard to break those habits. So as soon as you start to see a bad habit uh, coming along, break it and move on. You know, change that habit and move forward. Always move forward. Don't ever take steps back. If something happens bad, always move through it, work through it and Make sure they uh, have got it down and go on to the next thing. Okay, so always walk forward, heel, use the word heel. And then when you start going off leash, your dog will start uh, knowing those commands. So heel and always say sit, sit. Good. See how she's really excited? She is in a, you know, as Amanda explained, she is very excited all the time. So just stay calm and assertive. Your energy travels through the leash. So if you see another dog or something like that, you know, what your corrections, um, no, your corrections should be like that. You know, if she's, she's wanting to, to place on the place, she's, she's got a habit of it because we've been working with it. Heel. But always, you know, just a pop and release. And be calm and assertive when you're doing your commands with her. Um, dogs are, you know, kind of like horses. A horse trainer goes out and he works the round pin before he goes and gets on his horse. Okay, same with dogs. If you want to work with them, um, taking them out somewhere, work them around the yard or around the block or whatever you got and, and do it that way. It's very important to, to kind of do your groundwork before you go out in the big world. Okay, heel, sit, good, down. So you, and see how she's creeped forward? She's just excited. Stay calm and assertive, relaxed. You know, 
little corrections, snap your finger or whatever. Shh. That's very important. Just keep them calm and don't get them excited because she's already excited. Unless it was a dog that needed to be brought up and needed to be excited, it's nervous about things. Um, so yeah, just keep those in mind.